it, it wasn't like I woke up one day and said, hey, I'm going to do a bank robbery with a gun. It was just um, a, a, a bunch, multitude of choices from the clothing heist to, you know, uh, slinging weed to slinging coke to packing a pistol to, you know, putting down street moves. And um, when the opportunity presented itself, rather than say, hey, you know, that's not for me. I was already in the mindset, like, let's do it. And um, it was, a, you know, quick come up. It wasn't like I was looking to do multiple bank robberies. I was looking to take that money, invest it, start a record label, kind of do like what everybody else was doing in the 90s. I always tell people to be in tune to that gut feeling that told me that this was a bad idea. <clears throat> and I ignored it. You know, I didn't pay attention. These guys arguing, you know, just other little elements that were take, that had take, taken place or transpired. And I should have said that this is a bad look. But because of my mindset at the time, I entertained it and went along with the bank robbery. And even the morning of the bank robbery, uh, my mom had called me and she asked me what I was doing. And I was sitting there, you know, with a whole outfit on with, you know, my, my, my ski mask and waiting for these guys to come pick me up. And instead of being like, you know, um, you know, I, I'm about to do something I shouldn't be doing and taking that as a sign, I ignored it and had a conversation with her and then went out and rode with these guys to do a bank robbery, which changed my life, you know, because your odds are getting away. Even if you get away, they're still, they're going to be hunting you down. You know what I mean? There's going to be, you know, things they're going to be looking at to try to solve the robbery so it's not like you get away and they just oh okay you guys got away no they got you're, a whole team of people you're federally fucked now yeah, yeah yeah so you know that right there was like a defining moment in my life and you know from riding in the car from my house at the time which was a very nice place i lived at in the west side um to the bank out in thousand oaks um it was a slow motion, you know, so everything was in slow motion, but I didn't know how to say, you know what, man, just pull over and let me get out the car. You know, I was the type of guy like, man, you know, once I commit to something, I'm like, let's roll. And are you sweating at this moment? Are not you really nervous? Like it, It's raining, you know, the, you can hear the rain in the car. It's, a, it's the weather is kind of funny. It's around, um, I say right before, I think Valentine's or around, around that time. And like the weather's kind of dreary, so overcast. And, um, you know, it's just a weird feeling, man. You can't really, it's hard to really describe. I don't know, maybe it's the same anticipation you have when you're about to jump out of a plane. And, uh, you know, when we rolled up, when we pulled up to the bank, you know, we kind of sat there and it's like maybe, you know, five, 10 seconds. And uh, I pulled down my mask. I jumped out with my little rifle and ran up in the bank. And then I just assumed the other guy was behind me and uh, he came behind me. And basically laid everybody down in the bank and then, you know, proceeded to, you know, do what we do. And, uh, you know, like it's, it's not like in the movies where you got the scene takes 20 minutes or 10, 15. It's not, you know, you got seconds, man. You look at the clock and you got like maybe, you know, uh, 120 seconds or something like, that. you know, maybe three minutes, two, three minutes. And uh, during that time, you know, you're looking around There's an armed guard, he's on the ground. You got all these other people panicked. You know, my, the, the other guy's over the counter. I'm looking, I'm like, man, this is taking too long. And um, I look out the window, the door actually, and I see a sheriff across the way with a raincoat on with a shotgun. So I already knew it, oh, man, this is all bad. You know I mean? I know this is like, this is gonna be a wrap. And I basically, you know, just, we just, you know, continued through with the plan. But at that point, I already knew that we were gonna, it's gonna end pretty bad. And so when he jumped back over the counter and we exited the, the bank and we sped off, you know, I you know, actually drove off out of the parking lot right behind us. A cop bumped us. And I don't know if he was already there onto us or if it was by coincidence, but he bumped us. And we looked back and he turned his lights on and it was cracking. It was a high speed chase from there.